it is Sunday and I just thought I would share bits and pieces of my day today because I'm really excited we are having a little harvest party at my house today um, along with a, um, a fire outside and some s'mores and I'm making some treats and I just thought that I would share today with you guys I would show you guys what I look like but I would scare you and probably break my camera because I got up this morning wash my hair so it would be dry for later and I have been cleaning like a crazy woman I just loaded the dishwasher I've got clothes in the washer and the dryer and I need to reorganize my uh, refrigerator so that I can put drinks in there and all that kind of jazz I've got some some time I just sound like I'm in a huge hurry because I just really want to get it done <laughs> um, but I am making some candied apples now it has been a long time since I've made candy apples but it is a huge favorite of my family's um, if you all want this recipe I will be glad to shoot this video again uh, later I was going to do the recipe today and I was like oh but if you really really want it early I'd be glad to um, text you the you know the ingredients or, or not text you but message you or message you or whatever just send me a message on Facebook or wherever in the comments down below and I'll try to uh, load you up with the uh, with the information um, I'm not picky about the apples I use um, I'm just using gala apples because the candy part is I do cinnamon so if you don't like cinnamon this wouldn't be um, something for you and um, I've got my cinnamon and my um, food coloring right there so I'm bringing this up to 285 degrees and I'm gonna have to go because you can see it's already boiling but when I get these dipped keep your fingers crossed I hope they come out Okay, there they are. I should have let them drip a little bit more. It's been a long time since I made them, but these are for my kids and for people that's coming over and it's fine. Um, they're going to be really good. That's all I'm going to say. Um, they smell delicious, but look how red and pretty. I just love it when they come out shiny like that. Anyways, they just got to uh, sit and cool, and now I'm going to get started on my caramel corn use my new air popper I'm very happy and I keep eating this I'm probably gonna have to get some more because my boys keep coming in here and grabbing it actually works really well but at first it told us to put two scoops of the kernels inside this little chamber with this little thing on the top I don't know if I'm getting out anyways um, when we did the kernels went everywhere see them <laughs> okay so this looks pretty good. Uh, John went to go get me some more Cairo syrup because I did not realize that I was going to double the candy apples that I made because of how many people's coming over. So this is for my caramel popcorn and it takes six cups and I will link the video down below. I know some of you guys said can you share that recipe. I already did that recipe and I will link it down below for you guys it's really easy but I'll tell you the biggest part is putting your popcorn in the oven if you bake it like 200 degrees for one hour and you have to stir it every 20 minutes or it'll burn on the bottom you let it cool and you need to make sure that you have an airtight container unless you're going to eat it right away so yeah that is it that's all I got going on right now. I'm just waiting for John. I really need to go run and get dressed. I'm still in my minion pajamas, y'all. This is how I roll. So I thought I would show you guys that um, we made these pumpkins. Now, last year, I got a pattern from Shelly Bailey, and I did the Christmas trees. However, I didn't get them finished. I still have them. I still need to paint them. I still need to fix them but I didn't get them decorated or anything so you guys will be seeing me do that in another video because I still have the footage of when we cut them out um, on video <laughs> it's crazy I just couldn't get everything done last year but I just happened to be on Facebook the other day and I saw where I think it's adorable life I hope I quote that right but it's with Brittany Young you guys probably have seen her on YouTube and her crafty ideas I mean she just has all kinds of ideas she had this picture posted and it had the measurements and I'm like oh let's go do it so I I just pulled the money out and went and figured out how many I needed to do three and my company tonight 
We, um, that like to do crafts, not everybody, because not everybody's into this thing, but the ones of us that like to do crafts, we're going to paint pumpkins. And I thought what would be really cute, and it wasn't specified by Brittany or anything, but I, and I didn't see this. I'm not saying nobody has done it. I'm just saying that for, for me and what I thought would be cute is if we took, um, stencils and well, we did the whole thing orange and then a green stem on the top. And then we took, um, stencil and did our initial in the middle. And I thought it would be really cute. And then we're going to spray them with either clear spray paint or we're going to use polyurethane and just cover them and seal them and make sure that you know they're nice and covered and nice and shiny and pretty and they will last for years to come so that's what's going on i thought they came out really cute i got three of these cost me okay so one i don't know i'm sure you can tell this one here is a little bit smaller than this one because Luke and I both will be making one, so he's not going to want to keep it in his room or anything. So I'm going to be using it to decorate my house. So I thought it would be kind of dorky to have two the same size. So I thought to give it a little bit of character, we could do one big one and then one a little bit smaller. So for one of the big ones, um, it was it was one two by four and it cost me three dollars and i had everything else i had the paint the stencils everything else and the glue and all of that so yeah so really other than getting this all out and figuring out and measuring them correctly because there's you know each one is a different size to make the pumpkin form really you're not out of that much money and so went crazy I was like get three boards we're gonna do three <laughs> and if there's more people want to get involved they can paint mine I don't care because I'm gonna be at making food and all that kind of stuff so anyhow we got this going on I just thought I would show you because I'm so excited about them they are so super cute guys this was our setup last night with the fire pit i'm sorry i did not finish my video yesterday um things are a little bit out of sort <laughs> back here okay guys i thought i would check in it is lunchtime, and we're going to have some leftovers from last night um i have chili in the microwave and then we had my leftover we had a good bit of leftover um if i can open them uh, baked beans and then I had the last package of the turkey hot dogs um, that was left over and then my son said he would like to have some fries so I'm just making some um, you know my regular fries which I'll put my uh, recipe down below for you guys and we just have some cut up over here and there's John <laughs> so we're fixing lunch and then uh, Lucas and I are going to start um, to paint these. We were supposed to get to them last night in our party, but um, we just ran out of time and it was just, we just didn't have enough time. So uh, we are going to put the letters instead of stenciling. And we got some paints and I've got some other paints and then. He bought these because we're going to do pokey dots on them and I think they're going to come out really really cute but let me show you guys real quickly my front doorway it's it kind of uh, needs to be swept out a little bit okay here is my reef on my front door came out really pretty I'm really happy with it the only thing is is next time I make this reef I will not cut this ribbon at all because it frays so easily but I'm very happy with it and I'll be changing it up anyways because I just like to make things and if you guys keep um, if you watch me you know that I made this last year and it says fall I'd like to get different ribbon for this and I may change that out I don't know and then this year I put this sign over here on the other side sorry I could have zoomed out 
um, and it says all of this good stuff that has to do with harvest. So anyways, there's my wreath. That is the front door. Then when you come in, and excuse the noise, but my son is practicing his piano, so um, you can hear him. <laughs> um, this is my entryway, and so um, if you guys remember, I made these sconces, but I think I'm going to change these jars out because we cannot find candles that will actually fit into the Dollar Tree jars. Big downer, but um, I think I like it better when it has more of an original um, mason jar on the front of it anyhow. So I'm just thinking about just getting some, not anything that really lights up, but just getting some kind of fall colored candle for inside just to give it a little bit of a pop of color. And then this is my faux or fake window that we built. And then I made this reef um, really simple to put together. I just made the bow and the bow, the ribbon's actually from a Dollar Tree. And then um, this is just like a foam reef. And then I wrapped the whole reef with rope that I bought from, or like brown twine actually, um, that I bought from Harbor Freight. And I got like, I got it for like a dollar. <laughs> but I have used it for everything. So I really like that. I think it came out really cute. I was really happy with that. And then in here, let me switch this light on. I just have some throw pillows and then I have my scarecrow. And then if you watched me last year, that was my purchase last year was that pillow. I bought that from the thrift store, brought it home, um, ran it through the washing machine and I leave it sitting next to my scarecrow over here and snowball tries to get it because she thinks it's hers man it's not but she thinks it is then here hanging um with my blue and white i don't know um china i guess i was not really china but you know um and then i have some things up there my dad and mom made me that and yeah, so I have a little pumpkin hanging here. I've had this pumpkin for a really long time. I think it came from Garden Ridge, like boogles ago. And then we skip over here to my bakery area, and I just put some leaves in with my lights that I have on top of there. And the lights I got in the dollar section at um, Target, and the leaves actually came from Michael's. So they're not Dollar Tree leaves. They're a little bit better quality leaves than Dollar Tree, but that's where I put those and I thought they looked really cute. Okay, you guys know that I write down what we're going to eat every week and I just put some leaves around it. Um, those come from the Dollar Tree and I thought it just looked really cute and festive to bring some fall into this area of the table. And then I have a fall tablecloth. I have not gotten it out yet, but on my table right now I have a butternut squash and I've got these two little tea lights and I have some little pumpkin lights that'll go inside there, pumpkin scented uh, tea lights. And then I had these two pumpkins from the Dollar Tree that I put out here. I thought it was really cute. Okay, um, excuse the messy table. I was getting rid of some mail because I don't want you guys to see my address. Um, okay, so this is what my um, pumpkin looks like. It's not completely done yet and it'll look a lot better once um, it dries. But I like it. Um, I do. I like mine. I think it's cute. And you know, one thing that's good about wood is that next year, if I decide I don't like the pokey dots, I can spray paint the whole thing and start all over again. And this one here is Lucas's. He did the black pokey dots. And then we're doing our um, initial on the front and I did mine in black and he did his in purple. So a little bit different, but um, Nevertheless, I think it looks really cute and then we're going to um, You know polyurethane the whole thing with the spray that I bought to make it shiny and um, So that it lasts. I think it's gonna look really cute and I'm also going to buy some ribbon like 
not Halloween necessarily, but like um, bright colored fall ribbon and attach a ribbon up here at the top. It's wet, that's why I'm not touching it. But um, I'm just gonna let this dry for a few hours and then I'm going to take Easy 6000 and put my initial on the front and then it'll be ready to be sprayed.